Hey y'all, it's Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a Cricut 101 video for you. I am going to be working with these coasters and this infusible ink and I want to show you some more basics in Cricut Design Space and today's basics that we're going to be covering are resizing an object or text and rotating that object and or text. So let's jump right in. Everything I use I will definitely link down below. Let's go. Okay, I have started by opening a new project in Cricut Design Space and I went to insert images and I am searching for mandala images. I think that will be so gorgeous on top of the coasters and I'm actually going to search through um, and find four different ones and you can see there are so many options. The ones marked subscribed are free if you are a member of Cricut Design Access, which I highly recommend. I joined obviously and you have access to so many designs, so many images, so many projects. It is well worth it and that's one of the pluses of Cricut is that the design space has so many pre-done things. It makes you kind of feel like a pro crafter, even if you are not so much. Like I could not have designed these mandalas very easily on my own, but there are so many to choose from that I can just use the ones that are available on the program. So I have three of them picked out so far. I'm planning on trying four different coasters. We'll see how it goes. And I will search and add one more different one, just some slight variation scanning through and once I have them all on my page you'll see that they roughly are all about the same size so adding in my fourth one right here and they're all about five by five give or take just a little bit and I decide that I want them all to look the same color so at first I think I'll go with white and then I decide nope let me just go with pink I feel like it's easier to see what is going to be cut in that way so now they're all pink and now let's talk about how to resize the first way you can resize an object is just by clicking these double arrows in the lower right hand corner of the object and you can see I click and drag so I hold down the button click and drag and you can roughly resize it. It shows you the measurements along the top of the image and along the right side of the image so you can see how big or how small the slower you drag it the more precise the measurements are so it's pretty easy to see. Option number two when you want to resize is to select the object you want to resize and then go up to the control bar where it says size and you'll see a W and an H that stands for width and height and you can simply type in the exact width or height that you want. If it is currently locked, meaning that little locked symbol is closed, then they will adjust together. So you adjust one and it automatically adjusts the other. Also, instead of typing, you can just click the arrows and that will um, move it up and down. Option number three involves unlocking the connection between the width and the height. So in the lower left hand corner of your image, you see a lock symbol. If you click it, it will open and now the two are not connected. So you can make your image skinnier or wider, just depending on what you're looking for. And you can also adjust it from the control panel in the same way that you did earlier. Once you have locked that back, then they will move proportionately just as they did previously. I'm just going to press undo a few times to get back to my original design here. And I prefer when I'm working with a very specific size to use the control panel. I know that I want my mandalas to fit on the side of my coaster. And so I want them to be three and a half by three and a half, which is what I'm adjusting all the sizes to at this point. And you can see it's very easy to adjust. And then you just click and drag just so I can easily see them all together. Once again, a reminder, the placement on the project page of the canvas on the canvas page is not the same as the placement once you click make it. There are several options when rotating an object as well. The first is to click and drag the upper right hand corner of the object and you can see you can slowly rotate it as needed to fit your design. It can go slow all the way around back to where you started. It doesn't necessarily lock in a specific place. 
Similar to the resizing, there's also a rotating control panel option up at the top and you can type in a specific degree amount, 180 degrees, 90 degrees, and it will type it in there. And also you can just click the arrows to adjust. The last tip I wanted to share with you is if you press shift while you also click and drag from the upper right hand corner, you will rotate 45 degrees at a time and it's a little bit more controlled way to rotate your image to a specific setting. All right, it's time to cut my image. I wanted to show you one last thing. Once you are ready to cut, you can actually rotate from this panel as well to help make things fit a little bit easier on your mat if you feel like adjusting them is necessary. I am connecting my machine via Bluetooth and then I will set the material. Um, I am using infusible ink for the first time. So I will click popular and then scroll down. I will hit browse all materials because I have not used this yet. And I will scroll down to find the infusible ink transfer sheet. I love that Cricut has all of these already input for you. My Cricut Explore Air 2 is set to custom so that I can control all the pressures and things from the design space. I like to hit more pressure when I am doing cut, just cutting so I can make sure that it has a nice clean cut. Otherwise, everything is going to be ready to go. I am loading up my infusible ink transfer sheet on to a standard grip mat. It's important to make sure that you load it up liner side down. I have a little bit of extra on here, but I will be able to save it after the cut is complete, making sure it doesn't have any bumps, nice and smooth. And then I will load it into my machine and cut out my design ready to go. Here is my final product with my coaster and the infusible ink. I will definitely be doing a video in the future on infusible ink once I have had a chance to learn a little bit more about it and practice more with it, but it is super cool. It's not vinyl. It is in this coaster. It is, it is very cool to work with. I can't wait to share more. I hope that that tutorial was helpful in how to resize and rotate things in design space. I know it seems rather simple, but sometimes it's the simple things that we need just a little bit of help with. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I have all of the products I use linked down below. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, keep it creative.